Dave Chapman took £16,000 back to Leeds. At one point, he would have settled for 16 quid. Now we've got eight players left. Fastest finger first again. Audience, nice and quiet, please, like little mice, audience, so they can concentrate. Here comes the next question. Starting with the earliest, put these British Prime Ministers in order. Starting with the earliest, coming towards the present day. Four Prime Ministers, here they are. Anthony Eden, Alec Douglas Hume, Harold Macmillan, Winston Churchill. Lots of frowns. Let's see. Um, starting with the earliest, uh, fairly obvious the first one. Uh, Winston Churchill, 1940. Uh, Anthony Eden, then 1955. Harold Macmillan, uh, 1957. And Alec Douglas Hume, 1963. That's the right order. Now, eight people left. Let's see who got it right. These got it right. Only one. Uh, she was fastest. She was the only one in eight seconds. Judith Keppel. <laughs> So this is Judith Keppel, a garden designer from Fulham, up in the audience there, looking very proud, his daughter Rosie. And watching at home will be other daughter Sibylla, son Alexander, and the grandkids, Myla, who's five, and Jack, who's four. As a garden designer, Judith's ambition is to let Alan Titchmarsh mess about in her shrubbery. <laughs> Since she heard she was going to be on the show, Judith has woken up in the middle of the night pressing buttons. What have you been doing, then? I've been pressing... I've been having nightmares, basically. And I wake up in the middle of the night, at pressing buttons, going that on my sheets. Oh, that's strange. <laughs> doing fast finger first. Exactly. Doing fast, practicing fast finger. Well, it works. You're here. I know. Okay. Fifteen questions. Right. One million pounds. Right. That's the deal. Very straightforward. Yeah. Ready for this? I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> Three brand new lifelines. Fifty-fifty. Phone a friend and ask this audience. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? So, Judith, question number one for £100. Here it is. Hopefully nice and straightforward. Complete the saying, as sick as a... partridge. Mm. Puffin. Parrot. Penguin. Parrot. Right answer, you've got £100. <laughs> All right, so far? OK. No problem? No problem. OK. Uh, have a look at question number two. It's worth £200. Which legal document states a person's wishes regarding the disposal of their property after death? Would, shall, should, will. I think it might be will. I think it might be will. It's the right answer. You've got £200. <laughs> OK, have a look for £300. Question number three. Complete the title of the James Bond film, The Man With The Golden Tooth. Golden Gun, Golden Eagle, Golden Delicious. <laughs> it's one of those. A Golden Gun. It's the right answer. You've got £300. <laughs> they do get harder. Sorry, bad news. They do get harder. They, uh, no trick questions, but they get harder as the money goes up. You've got £300. This is for £500. You've still got all three lifelines. you had no problem so far. Have a look, Judith, at question number four. Which of these fruits shares its name with something superior or desirable? Apricot, grapefruit, plum, mango. Plum. Superior or desirable? Plum. plum? Yes. It's good. It's the right answer. You've got £500. Pounds. <laughs> OK, question number five is worth a thousand. First big milestone. Have a look at it. Take your time. Use a lifeline if you have to. Uh, you probably won't. Have a look. Question number five. In which sport do two teams pull at opposite ends of a rope? Tug of war, basketball, ice hockey, or polo? It's tug of war. Chris. It's tug of war, you've got a thousand pounds. <laughs> so, how are you feeling now then after the nights I'm of relieved pressing buttons? I've got to a thousand pounds. You've got a thousand pounds, no problem, you've got all three lifelines. Have a look at question number six. It's worth 2,000. Take your time. You're ten away from one million. This is question number six of the possible 15. Where would a cowboy normally put his chaps? 
on his head, on his arms, on his legs, on his hands. Um, on his legs. What, his chaps? His chaps. Why would he put his legs? chaps on his legs? To stop his legs getting rubbed by the horse. Final answer? Yeah. It's good. It's right out, you've got £2,000. Okay. Question number seven is worth four thousand. You still haven't used your lifeline. Take your time. This is it. Which of these zodiac signs is not represented by an animal that grows horns? Taurus, Capricorn, Aquarius, Aries. Which of those zodiac signs is not represented by an animal that grows horns? Taurus, Capricorn. Aquarius, Aries. I think it's Aquarius, the water carrier. Not got horns? Well, it's a man, isn't it? Water carrier. Some men have horns. <laughs> <laughs> Bad luck. Um, you. I think it's Aquarius. What you? What's, what's your star sign? Leo. That doesn't have horns either. Well, it wouldn't be a lion. <laughs> Final answer. Yeah. It's good. You got four thousand pounds. How are you feeling? I'm getting more nervous. More nervous? Rather than less. Why? I don't know. <laughs> That's water? No, thank you. Oh, okay. Don't mind me asking. Okay, <laughs> have a look. You've got £4,000. Have a look at question number eight for 8000 You've still got all three lifelines. You shouldn't be nervous. You've got £4,000. This is worth eight. You've got 50 50 phone a friend and ask the audience. Right, question number eight is worth £8,000. Sherpas and Gurkhas are native to which country? Russia, Ecuador, Nepal, Morocco. Um, it's Nepal. Sure? Yeah. Been there? No. Want to go there? Um, no, I get vertigo in mountains. Ah, you wouldn't like, <laughs> you wouldn't like Nepal much then if you don't no, like mountains. <laughs> final answer? Yeah, final answer. It's good, you got 8,000 pounds. I suppose that's made it worse now, has it? The more yeah, money I give you, the worse it worse. gets. It's getting worse. It's very strange. You're supposed to, <laughs> it's supposed to get better. You've got 8,000. You've had no problem at all so far. You lose 7,000 at this point if you give me a wrong answer. But you've still got all three lifelines intact. You're two away from the next big milestone of £32,000. Judith, have a look at question number nine. It's worth 16000 Prime Minister Tony Blair was born in which country? England. Northern Ireland. Scotland. Wales. Prime Minister Tony Blair was born in which country? England, Northern Ireland, Scotland or Wales? It's worth £16,000. Well, I know he went to school in Scotland. But was he born there? But was he born there? Nino, Nino, Nino. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wonder if the audience... Do you know, audience? <coughs> Judith, you can't just do it like that. <laughs> You can't um, do hands up in the dark or ibble dibble. You have to do. It's up to you. You've got three lifelines. You can use one if you want. You can do 50 50, phone a friend, or ask the audience. I'd like to ask the audience, please. OK. Audience, on your keypads, please. Uh, let's try and get Judith up to £16,000. Although, Judith, you don't have to take their answer. You would lose seven if they gave you a wrong answer. Have a look. Prime Minister Tony Blair was born in which country? A on your keypad is England. B is Northern Ireland. C is Scotland. D is Wales. A, B, C or D. All vote now for £16,000. Uh... 90% think England, 12% Northern Ireland, 53% say Scotland, 16 say Wales. Um, I just don't know what to do. I've always said to myself that I would be risky up to 16,000 because I'd hate to lose 15,000. Um, I think I'll go for Scotland. Are you being risky up to 16,000? Yeah, I'm being risky. Are you? Yeah. Lose 7,000 if you're wrong. I know, but a thousand pounds, nice Christmas. A very nice Christmas. <laughs> okay, I'll go for I'll, I'll risk it and go for Scotland. Final answer. Yeah. What do you think? I wish you'd tell me. <laughs> Don't tease. Tell me. 
But I always tease. I know you do. It's the best fun I have. <laughs> oh, all right, then. You had £8,000. You've just won £16,000. This is question number 10 of a possible 15. It's worth £32,000. Here it is. Whose autobiography has the title A Long Walk to Freedom? Ronald Fiennes, Mother Teresa, Nelson Mandela, Mikhail Gorbachev. I think it's um, Nelson Mandela. Play? Um, yes. I do. Final answer. You lose 15,000 if you I want know. Me. Actually, can I think one second? Of course you can. Um, as long as you like. Can I do a bit of sort of... It, it's not Ranulph Fiennes, I don't think, because he didn't do long walks free and did them to the Pope, <laughs> didn't he? <laughs> it's, no, it, it is Nelson Mandela. It's not Gorbachev either. I'm sure it's Nelson Mandela. I'd li I like to play. Final answer. A final answer. You just won £32,000. <laughs> you know now you're guaranteed to go home with at least... Have a look. That amount of money. Touch it if you want. £32,000. But we don't want to give you that. <laughs> we will give you that, Judith. You know that whatever happens... Yes. You go... <laughs> don't jump. Whatever <laughs> happens... You go home with at least that amount of money. That's yeah. guaranteed, OK? Yeah. Uh, have a look at question number 11. It's worth 64,000. Duffel coats are named after a town in which country? Belgium, Holland, Germany, Austria. Now take your time. You've got two lifelines. Uh, you've got 32,000 guaranteed. It sounds sort of slightly Frenchy words. It could be Belgium. I have absolutely no idea, and I simply can't think of um, who on earth would know. Um, I don't think it's Holland, because it doesn't sound like a Dutch word. So it could be three things, and I don't know. Um, you, could, you could do 50-50 and then phone a friend. Yeah, I think I'd like to do 50-50. OK. Computer, take away two wrong answers. Leave Judith the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. One of those is worth £64,000. One would leave you still with £32,000. It's just it's funny that Belgium has a coat. I mean, I don't, you don't think of Belgium as kind of a place that invents coats, do you? Take your time, but it's worth £64,000. I don't want to use a lifeline at this stage, I must say. I think it's more likely to be Belgium. I just don't know. I don't, I don't think any of my friends, my phone friends, would know the answer, frankly. Um, I think I'll do Belgium. Do and I'm Belgium. not in the least sure. <laughs> I'm not in the least sure. It's just that Duffel could uh, equally be Dufel, couldn't it? We could, could be French, we could be Belgian. Mm. I, I think I'll try Belgium. And hope for the best. Final answer. Yeah, final answer. How do you think you've done? I have no idea. You just won £64,000. That's amazing! <laughs> you just won £64,000. It's named after the town of Duffel, which, uh, which is in Belgium. Have a look at that. Lovely. You've really still nice. kept that important lifeline as well. You've still got phone a friend. Yeah. We don't want to give you that. <laughs> You've got 64,000 at the moment. You're guaranteed 32. You're four questions away from one million. Have a look at question number 12 of a possible 15. 
Complete this stage instruction in Shakespeare's The Winter's Tale. Exit pursued by a tiger, clown, bear, dog. I'm afraid I don't know. I, I would like to phone a friend now. And I'd like to phone Jilly. Jilly? Jilly. OK. Do you want me to tell her how much money's involved? Yes, please. Hello? Jilly? Yes? Hiya, it's Chris Tarrant here on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Good evening. Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, goodness. Good evening. Um, hi, I've got Judith here. Yes. She's uh, She's doing rather well. At this moment, she's on £64,000. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but it gets more complicated than that. Yes. With your help, Jilly. Yes. With your help, we can get her up to one hundred and twenty-five thousand pounds. Ooh, that felt like a bit of responsibility. <laughs> Ser serious business. Uh, next voice you hear will be Judith. She'll tell you the question. There are thirty seconds in which she'll tell you a question. There are four possible answers. One of them is worth one hundred and twenty-five thousand pounds. Right. Okay. Lots of luck, Judith. Your time starts now. Jilly, yes. complete this stage instruction in Shakespeare's The Winter's Tale. Yes. Quotes, exit pursued by a either tiger, yes. clown, bear, or dog. Right, I know this one. I'm 100% sure it's a bear. Oh, bless you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm absolutely sure. Oh, Jilly, thanks so much. Oh, Jilly, bless you. <laughs> Well, she sounded um, pretty confident. 100% is quite high. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, she's the sort of thing she would definitely know, so I will definitely go for bear. Final answer? Yep, final answer. It's the right answer. You just won £125,000! Hey! At this oh, moment, you've got that. I don't know where you're going to put it, and I'm not going to peep. <laughs> you've got £125,000 at this moment. You are three questions away from £1 million. How do you feel now? I, um, I, I, don't, I can't really say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit blank. Well, you've got £125,000 at this moment. You know you've got 32 guaranteed, but you can obviously walk away with one, two, five. You've got no lifelines left. The next question is worth a quarter of a million. You obviously don't have to play it. Have a look at question number 13 of a possible 15. It's worth a quarter of a million. The young of which creature is known as a squab? Salmon. Horse. Pigeon. Octopus. I do know this. You know it? Yeah, I think so. It's a pigeon. Because you eat them in America. They're called squabs. Aren't they? <laughs> Judith, it doesn't work like that. No, I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I forgot. Um, it's up to you. It's worth £250,000. Yeah. Well, it's definitely not the other things, I think. It's not a young salmon, it's not a young horse. It's, again, it's elimination. I'm sure it's a squab. And you do eat them in America, and they're called squabs. It's up to you. All I'm saying to you is if you give me a wrong answer, yes. you lose £93,000. No, I'm, I'm, I'm sure it is a pigeon. Good play. Yeah, I want to play. I thought of Pigeon before the thing lit up, so I would like to play. Final answer. Final answer. <coughs> Give me the check. You don't want that anymore. You just won two hundred and fifty thousand. <laughs> oh, look at this one. <laughs> no, we don't want to give you that. <laughs> we don't want to give you that. You've got two hundred and fifty thousand pounds at this moment. And have a look at the next question, number fourteen of a possible 15. 
It's worth £500,000. Only two people have ever done this. Have a look at question number 14. Who is the patron saint of Spain? St. James, St. John, St. Benedict, St. Peter. I think it's St. James. And Spain is called Santiago. I'm sorry, but I'd like to do St. James. Why are you apologizing? Well, because it, it's sort of frightening what I could lose. And yeah. I've seen someone lose it. But on the other hand, I, I, yeah, St. James, St. James, St. James. Santiago. <laughs> you lose 218,000 pounds if you I wrong. know. You've got a quarter of a million at the moment. I know, it's a fantastic sum of money. Um, What's... Patron saint of Spain, St. James, St. John, St. Benedict, St. Peter, for half a million. I think it is St. James. Do you want to play? Yes, I do want to play. Final answer. Yeah. Just won 500. <laughs> That's extraordinary. I mean, it's extraordinary. 500,000 pounds. You've been very lucky. You haven't even been brilliant. <laughs> you haven't been lucky at all. I just said, I've been very lucky. You have not been very lucky. You've been absolutely brilliant. Right, have a look at this one. Have a look at that. £500,000. Only two people have gone away with that. Peter Lee and Kate Hoyser a couple of weeks ago. You've yeah. got that at the moment, you can obviously walk away with that. You guarantee £32,000. You can walk away now with £500,000. You might as well have a little peep at the question, because otherwise it'll nag you forever. And also, I think you'll find the whole country wants to see the question anyway. <laughs> if you give me a wrong answer, you still get 32,000. You lose 468,000 pounds. <laughs> That's quite a lot, Judith. Yes, I know. Gosh. <laughs> but it's worth a million pounds. Have a look at question number 15 of 15. Which king was married to Eleanor of Aquitaine? Henry I, Henry II, Richard I, Henry V. I think it's Henry II. <laughs> I saw her tomb, funnily enough, in France this summer. What did it say on it? Well, I... <laughs> that's, that's quite I important. I hope it said that she was married to Henry II. I said I wasn't going to gamble when I came back, and I sort of can't resist it. <laughs> you've got £32,000 at the moment, you've got half a million. I did it at school for A-levels, and I'm... <laughs> I'm trying to remember. Take it was your time. Long Take as long time as you do. Um, I do think it's Henry II. I think it's Henry II. You lose £468,000 if you're wrong. I know. <laughs> but 32 is very nice. <laughs> It's not quite as nice as 500,000. No, it's not Judith. as nice as that. But I, I, am, I am fairly sure it is Henry II. Can you afford to lose 468,000 pounds? Well, can anybody? <laughs> Just take your time, have a look. There's nothing on my screen. It's worth one million pounds. I, I think it is Henry II. Mm. 
I think it's worth going for. It's up to you. I'm going to say Henry II. Final answer. Yep, final answer. One of those four is worth <laughs> one million pounds. Three of them would cost Judith Keppel 468,000 pounds. Find out what the right answer is in a couple of minutes. <laughs> Before the break, Judith Keppel was asked this question. Which king was married to Eleanor of Aquitaine? Henry I, Henry II, Richard I, or Henry V? She had £500,000. She could have walked away with that. She didn't have to play it. She knew if she gave me a wrong answer, she would have lost £468,000. She did decide to play, and she went for Henry II. You've just won one million pounds! You are amazing! I One million pounds! Never ever show this. Have a look at this. Pay Judith Keppel one million pounds. Look at that. <laughs> you are so cool. I can't believe it. That's right. Believe it. You have won one million pounds. I can't believe it. Have a look again, Judith. Have a look again. Yeah. Look, Rosie. Look, Rosie. <laughs> it's ever so nice. <laughs> Mummy's won a million pounds. Happy Christmas. How do you feel? You were amazing all the way through. You were so cool. Well, I was very, very lucky with the question. You were, they were incredibly hard. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, you've always said it's a matter of luck. When you get the questions, you know. No, I've always said they're only easy <laughs> if you know the answer. You knew all 15 answers. <laughs> I'm no duffer. Rosie, what was it like sitting up there? Oh, it was terrifying. Really exciting, but frightening. And when, when Mum <laughs> suddenly said, I'm going to play for the million, and you knew I that she could... I couldn't believe it. I, but I didn't... When she said that, I thought, well, she must know the answer, cos she wouldn't... There's no way she'd gamble. Yeah. That much money. Yeah. I don't know. I felt like gambling. It was very peculiar. <laughs> <laughs> you are so laid back. <laughs> Incredible. Incredible. It can be done. The Americans have done it. The South Africans have done it. The French have done it. Even the Portuguese have managed it. But now, finally, a Brit gets the biggest cheque of all. We started the show back in September 1998. It's taken two years, over 120 shows. Now, Judith from Fulham has finally been the first to do it. She's just won one million pounds. <laughs> Good luck. Have a fantastic night. God bless you. Take it now. We'll be in the bank.